Hey, welcome back. Sorry for the delay. We sort of blew our Tuesday deadline. We've been hoping to do a video every Tuesday. And what with the new Mortal Kombat coming out, we've been spending quite a bit of time... Testing this one out, yeah. Yeah. So this is a break from our Once a Week Injustice. But hopefully this will be interesting because it's a new glitch for an interesting new game that's very similar to Injustice, and we think you guys will probably at least get some enjoyment out of playing. There's definitely some game mechanics that are interesting about this. Yeah, so let's get some of the housekeeping stuff out of the way. As always, we're on Android, Android only. We don't have an Apple device, so any questions about Apple stuff, we, we don't know, we can't tell you. We inevitably get, get questions because that's the nature of our channel. And if there isn't a reply option to comment, there's a good chance that we won't be able to reply, and we won't reply. So, um, on our About page, we have a link to a video from YouTube, which will tell you how to manage your YouTube settings and actually enable reply options on your comments. Yeah, and I guess the other thing is, if you ask a question that we specifically answer and deal with in the video, there's a good chance that we won't reply to that either. Yeah. Um, so, moving on, we've had the app for about a week now. We actually did not ch change our location settings so that we could download it earlier. We're in North America, and it was only available to us last week, uh, Tuesday. Yeah, we've had it since then, I think. Yeah, so we've been playing for about a week, and this is a glitch to get free stuff and free souls. Uh, to reset your bonus missions, but also your um, test your luck. Yeah, so we've seen this described in a few places already, but we have a few refinements to make it more efficient, and you know, we, we aren't always the first with the glitches, but we're careful to make sure we use them a lot, we understand how they behave before we post anything about them. Yeah, and it gives us a chance to offer a little bit of insight into the process. Alright, so now, one of the kickers for Mortal Kombat is that the load times are painfully long. So, we're probably going to give some random advice during load times, and if we run out of time, we're going to be doing a, a bit of a discussion at the end of everything after we've explained the yeah, glitch. Yeah, just a little bit of tips and tricks so far. Alright, so because of the long load time, we're actually one step ahead. The first thing you need to do is always start it from a shutdown app. So after every time, before you're going to try this glitch, always shut it down. And, well, reasons. We're going to explain them later, but always start from a fresh app. And always shut down everything else. All your other apps. Yeah, because this is painfully unstable. Besides long load times, this is painfully unstable. It can crash randomly, and it's more likely to crash when you've got other programs running in the background. So this is just the safest way to run it. So, as you can see, too, if you've played it a bit, you know that we've, at this point with the startup, we've got an internet connection, but we eventually shut it down once everything is set up to, again, improve stability, because if your internet connection is even a little bit weak, it's going to mess up your ability to do any of the online stuff. Yeah. Alright, so first thing you do up here, you go to Menu, you go to Profile, and you go to Change your WBID. Now, we're going to cut out this part of the video where we show you our email, but you don't actually need to create a new account. You can just do um, fake stuff. Just log back into your same account. Whatever account you're using for your WBID, just log back into it. Yeah, we've, we've set up a fake one, but we still don't even want you to know our fake one. Yeah, like it, it doesn't matter at all. You can set the account that you already have. So, we'll be back in a Okay, so we've entered our credentials. This is a screen that you'll get once you've logged back in. It'll tell you you're already associated. And yeah. so you hit OK. And you are on the, the menu screen, and we, if we go out of the menu, what happens here is now you've got a brand new test your luck. So you get the daily login bonus again. And so you can just pick one at random now, and get the reward. If you'll notice at the bottom, it might not be that obvious here, is that it will change your consecutive days played back to one. It resets everything back to one, and your reward rank is back to one. Okay. So when you're starting out, if you take a look at some of the rewards, if you want to freeze it, so there's often a character, there's some upgrades, sometimes even some equipment, and at the beginning, when you're just starting out, if you haven't played much at all, the characters are actually... Quite useful. Yeah, they're the, it builds up your roster so you can keep on farming, but unfortunately they're all bronze, and when you play a little bit, eventually it doesn't matter nearly as much. Yeah, not nearly as important. Oh, one thing you've got to be careful about, if at this point you try to do the same glitch again and try to get another reward without shutting down the app, you will it'll lose that reward. Yeah, it will reset your first reward. Right. And this is 
because of a little problem that they have with um, saving information to WBIDs. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily oh. saving the problem because I think the what they're trying to do is the, they're giving you the flexibility to play on different devices so you can log in to your account from different devices. So the behavior of it here is that what it's doing is bringing back your save. It's uh, recovering your last WBID save, but it's recovering it from a point before you got your test your luck prize. Yeah, because usually it saves by doing online play or just a certain amount of other various playing. Right, so if you... Um, so l let's shut it down now to lock in that prize. And we'll restart again. And I guess maybe for, for, for your benefit we're gonna... Yeah, for your benefit we're gonna cut out a bunch of some of the load screens maybe to, to make it go a little bit faster. Yeah, and any time it cuts out that's not a loading screen, it's usually because personal information shows up of some nature. Yeah, so one of the things, actually a couple of things we want to talk about. One, we really like the uh, three team slots. Oh, that's so helpful. It's a huge improvement over Immortals and Injustice. Yeah, it's just, it's very nice to not have to change your team every time. I also like the feature of having allies. It's an interesting change. It's definitely significantly different too. Yeah, and it seemed really important early on for the benefit that they provided. Right, Fine. for the damage. Yeah. Where they... But now that we've played a little more and we've gotten a little bit stronger, the main benefit for the ally actually is the alliance credit so that we can work towards the alliance packs. And um, if we have a slot, we just friend anyone and everyone that we can who asks us. Okay, so we showed you the glitch originally. And what we didn't show you was the, the actually more important part because we went directly to the test your luck. What actually is even better, and we're going to cut out again. The second part of this glitch that it's actually even more important is the ability to reset bonus missions. Yeah. And so it's the, the test your luck reward is really good when you don't have a lot of characters, but once you've got a lot of characters, you actually want to do the bonus missions because souls are really hard to come by. Yeah, you get three souls for leveling up an account, well, your account. Uh, completing towers the first time, you get also three souls for. Except the last one where you can keep on getting it repeatedly. The other ones, the, the last one you get it over and over again if you want to repeat it, but the other ones you only get it the, the first time. And by doing bonus missions. So getting 120 souls to get a gold pack is 10 days worth of bonus missions or less if you make progress to get souls in a single player, single player story mode or leveling up your character. So when you think about it, that's going to take you a long time to get your gold characters. That's the only way, well with a few exceptions, that's the only way you can get gold characters. Yeah. Although they are a really rare drop in the silver packs. I think they call them the card packs. Yeah. And I just like how they do K's instead of C's for everything. Because well, K, the K in combat, I, yeah, it's just they, they've that's done it for thing. everything. All right. So normally, when you've got bonus Probably missions, soon. you can only change one bonus mission a day. But when we've done the glitch, immediately after, when you go to bonus missions, you'll notice first, time until missions reset, there's no time there. Yeah. And there's nothing... You can replace all of them. You can replace everything you've got. And if you replace any of them, it'll auto-replace all of them. Now, you'll notice that we actually have progress on one of the missions that's already there. And you can specifically, if you choose to replace that one, you will. So let's just do it to show you. You can replace it, but that's the only way you can lock in progress because every time you come to the screen, besides just press, pressing replace, if you just go to the menu and hit bonus missions, it will change them again. Yeah. This is sort of important because, all right, so regular bonus missions, you can only change one. This one, you can change all of them, but not one of them at a time. So you have to change all of them. Right, so it's a bit random, the grouping that you get. You can change it as many times as you want, but it can lock in at certain times. If you go to the main menu and do test your luck, it'll change them again and lock them in. And it becomes like a normal daily bonus mission where you can only change them one of them once. Yeah. And go, But going back to the bonus mission, like we just showed you, will change them without locking them in. <coughs> and like we also showed you before, that one that was partly completed, if you perform part of the bonus mission, so if it's complete three fights using whatever, and you've done one meeting that criteria, yeah. it can stay there if you just leave it. 
<coughs> so the for the next part, for the benefit of the next part of this discussion, let's shut this down again because we're going to do it properly the way we're supposed to. <coughs> we're going to show you step by step how things work. Oh, good. So there are different types of missions. There's the ones where they're part of the faction wars. Oh yes, and if you do one faction war victory, that gives you three souls. Three victories gives you five souls, and five gives you seven. Right. If you level up one of your characters, two of your characters, or three of your characters, you can get three, four, or five souls, depending on how many it is. Respectively. And test your might things, um, missions where you complete a test your might, is worth three souls. And the, the greatest number of missions are the ones where it says win three fights with, and it'll Something be one, two, or own. three of a particular category. So it yeah. be bronze, or silver, or gold, or out, uh, the Outworld... Spec Ops, Martial Artist. Yeah. <coughs> and then the one that's sort of on its own is Completed Tower. And that's Which is worth, worth five, five souls. And you can't get any duplicates right. to get so the exact it, same mission. Right, so you'll never get three, but you can see that there's a, a huge potential for overlap. Like, you get two that are three... You get a three victory with all silver team. You could get, like, a win a tower, and then you could get, like, a... Um, just win a couple fights with a specific type of character, and right. then if you have... Alright, so you see here, I screwed up, I forgot to actually come to the test your luck to unlock it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out here, and come back after the load to not make you watch that, that part again. Yeah, because that would be painful. Alright, All right, we're so, back. Yeah, so we're back, uh, we just cut out the, the loading, so now we're back, completely fresh start again. And what you want to do, remember what we said, if you go to the main menu, that will trigger, if you've done the glitch, you go to the main menu, it will trigger the test your luck, and then you've got no flexibility with your bonus mission. So what you want to do is go to the battle mode first. And that way, when you go straight through the menu to the profile and change it, when you exit back out, instead of skipping it in, you'll be right in the battle mode so you can actually continue to reset your challenge. There's just a moment while we log. Alright, so we've logged back in, and because we are already on the battle select, we don't actually have to worry about uh, bonus missions getting the, locked in right. by the so test So we go to the bonus missions. And so the idea is that you want to get as many overlapping missions as possible. You want a combination of missions yeah. that are that you can satisfy at the same time. And this is a pretty good example. If you have low-level characters early on, leveling up characters can actually be an easy way to get a couple souls, right. and both the other ones involve winning three right. fights with one and the other with two martial arts. Right, so if the resolution on screen isn't clear enough, the first fight for three points is win no, three you fights. Can see it. But oh, yeah. yeah, using a martial artist card that you own. Well, some people might be The second one is device. using um, winning three fights with two martial artists, and the third one is leveling up three character cards. Now, in this case, the best scenario might have been winning three fights with a team of three martial artists, and then yeah. win three fights with like a bronze, all bronze cards or gold cards or silver or whatever. Actually, yeah. there aren't any gold ones. It's always silver or bronze. So, so you'd think this would actually be the best way, because you could potentially get... I guess with just the win three fights, potentially 14, like two fives and a four, right? And we're not going to consider the Faction Wars one, because even though they have the, the single highest reward, soul reward, which is seven, it takes five fights, which is not that efficient. Yeah. And leveling up, again, if you've got the cards, that's good, but the problem is it's a bit of work to manage and track them. But like, like you said, if you've got a few new guys, that's pretty good way to, yeah. to do it. Yeah, and if you got some martial artists, then you're gravy. Yeah, alright, so level, there's more level up. Test Your Might is actually pretty good if you're there, because it's only one fight, and that's three souls. This is pretty good. Um, if you had Spec Ops card, um, a single Spec Ops card, and you played... <laughs> A single faction mode, if you had like a level one character, that would be good. All right, but w th this is the key I think that we haven't seen a lot in terms of how people are talking about it. The real key, the magic, is actually complete one tower. And because there is. there's a really good reason. The first tower is actually <laughs> only two fights. All right, so hold on. L look at this. So this is actually not bad overlap. So we've got complete one tower. 
win three fights using a team of at least two spec ops and win three fights using a team of at least two silver cards. We can satisfy both of those requirements with one team. Yeah. Okay. So you can have a two spec op, two silver card team. So remember, we don't come back to bonus missions. We've got to remember this. Write it down if you need to. Keep track. We go back to battle, select. And because of what we've done before, it's straight into battles. All right, so now let's change our team. We needed two silvers. Was that right? Yeah, two silvers. Two silvers. And um, martial artists. Spec ops. Oh, sorry, spec ops. Not Wasn't it? Yes, two spec ops, two silver. Sorry, that was my mistake. Yeah, you know what? Let's use somebody overwhelmingly powerful. Oh God. And we we've already got silver actually, so we're done. So all right, so that's the first secret is that the first tower is only two, and that is worth five points. But the interesting thing is. The way it works, just getting to the second fight, not even completing it, actually satisfies the complete one tower bonus mission. So what that means is you actually only need to do one fight every time to get five souls. And um, complete a very easy battle for satisfying any of your other win battle um, requirements. Right, your mission requirements. Yeah. Now, the, here's, here's the drawback though. The first one, because it's so easy, there is almost no regular coins. And because it's like the... The demo. It's a demo where they're introducing concepts one at a time. There is no alliance coins because you can't use a friend to help you. Right. But here's the kicker. I mean, we're talking a lot more souls. If you think about it like this, and we're going to show you now, what we're going to actually do in three fights is get 23 souls, which is really spectacular, actually. When you think about... I mean, it... If you haven't played and you think, oh, I need 120 of them to get a gold character, it still seems like a lot. But when you think of the grinding yeah. that you actually need to normally do if you didn't have this glitch, it would be, it's 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 such a revelation and Wait, free. isn't it 21? I'm doing 8 plus 15. Alright, so there's the first one. Only 20 coins, which is nothing. So like I said, here's the secret. So what happens is, if you look up here... See the menu now. There's a red check mark at the top. You can't see that it. it's cut off on our screen. Uh, under menu, if you go, to, no, it's, yeah. It's you just, can see a very little bit of the red check mark though. In all right. There. So if we go to menu and we go to bonus missions, you'll notice complete one tower is already done. We've only done one fight. There's our first five, and we are on our way to making another eight from the other missions. Okay. So let's go back. What we want to do is opt out of this battle. Because here's the other secret, the second battle is not actually what completes the tower. If you just went and did the second battle, you would get really... You get no nothing, actually. Nothing special except for progress on what your original one is. So we go back to the menu, go back to bonus missions, and, alright, so notice the one, twos are locked in, they're still there. Yeah. We just need to keep on replacing this until we get the complete one tower. Again. And, again, because there's so many different potential battles, it can get pretty tedious. But the sad thing is, and to our benefit, is that the load screens are so long so that this is better. This is actually better to be able to make another five points for this one battle is definitely worth the trouble. So the worst thing is that when you keep on getting, when you keep get reused to tapping over and over again, sometimes you tap it by accident and then it takes forever to come back. Yeah. And even if you really wanted to, if you look at the ones we're getting, a lot of them are actually fitting in with ours. Complete it's, one tower. There we go. So it's, but, yeah, it's, this is the most efficient, but you really can do whatever you want. Because if you get another one and it ends up being staggered, then it's harder to coordinate to make sure that everything you're doing fits. So it's, it's almost not worth the effort to try to find another one that's not complete the tower. Yeah. Again, because we're grinding for souls. The problem really is that there's three types of credits and it actually makes it difficult because three types of currencies are too many and the ki what kills me is that even though there are three different currencies that it's the one currency that's the same for recharging and for buying gold, gold cards that is so not cool yeah so you have to so decide between playing more or getting better guys yeah so that's one of the things I, I don't like this. Just for this. people who don't know, how many souls does it take to recharge? It's just one. It's basically a soul is a, a, the equivalent of recharge. A recharge card or a single energy? 
Uh, no, sorry, like a recharge card to re yes. recharge one guy. So that's one of the things that we really don't like about that. Alright, so here we go. Here's the fight again. So yeah, this is a, a demonstration, so you see how fast the energy builds up. Yeah, ridiculous speed. Alright, and again, there's So there's no experience to be had, no coins, it's all for the souls. And so the menu is up again, we go back, we go to bonus missions to grab our five more souls. For completing the tower. And then we will get out of the tower because finishing the second fight would actually not satisfy requirement for completing the tower. We come out. Yep. We go back in. And this is really something that you can do early on as soon as you start pretty much for your first gold character. Yeah, although what I would recommend is once you've got your first gold character, do as much of the single player mode as you can. And yeah. the reason for that is the more the larger your roster is, the more different players that you've accumulated and you can get more of the silvers out there. We go Ooh, complete one tower fast. fast. Cause the more you more characters that you accumulate, the better you'll be able to complete different missions. Yeah, and, and have the, overlap. the more in general, it's more fun when you have more characters, and it's more fun when you can play for as long as you want to, and you don't have to worry as much about the energy. Because that, if you're using strategies like this, even for gold characters, that actually happens pretty quickly if you're just building up your roster. Yeah, and because there's no energy glitch to recharge your guys, like there is in Injustice British by shifting your calendar, then, again, the more characters you got, the longer you'll be able to farm. And the great thing with the Souls glitch is that you do actually get quite a lot of recharges very quickly. If you want to spend it like that. If that's how you want to use it, yeah. So if you want to save up for a bunch of bronze and silvers, you can use this glitch a couple times, get like 20 uh, souls, and then just play for as long as you want whenever you have an opportunity to. That's true. Oh, and oh, I guess, the, yeah, the really quick. Oh, that was good. Usually they don't, uh, they aren't able to knock out two guys with the same combo. Yeah, usually it's like one guy and then the right. rest of it is kind of just wasted. But So there we go. Alright, so oh. so we go back, we get all our rewards, now everything's triggered, and that round was worth 13. So there you go, that was 23 souls in a relatively short period of time. Yeah. And the good thing again about the early battles is that they only cost you one energy. So it's pretty easy to continually farm. And I guess even if your roster isn't that big and you can't satisfy all the requirements, you're still getting 15 souls per three battle run. Yeah, for sure. All right. So one of the things that we were we had meant to talk about that didn't come up here was uh, the alliance credits, and we started talking about that. And one of the things we should mention is that the the alliance credits are really if you do the regular battles in single player mode, in the story mode, then you get a lot of Alliance uh, credits, and it makes it really easy to get Alliance packs. Yeah. And so, if we have a slot, we friend everybody who asks us. So we don't really care if their main character does a lot of damage or not, although that helps a little bit. We mainly care that they play a lot and use us a lot, because when you use an ally... Oh, nice. Healing. Oh, ah, I drew a good one. Yeah, that's good. So, accessory... Probably the best one that we could have got out of that pack. Yeah. Which brings us to the next... Part, right, because yeah. even common equipment like this doesn't drop that often. It, they're they're actually relatively hard to get. So when you yeah. get common, uncommon, and rare, I've never gotten a rare one in a pack yet. I've only got them as uh, a faction war reward. Yeah. So because of the change in mechanic for improving the equipment, which you just saw now, it's even harder to max them out. So they've gotten rid of the different types of shards and little bits of pieces that you we break and shatter. Personally, as a concept, I like better. Well, you know what? I didn't like it because you had to keep track of stuff. Like, how many of this shard that you had and how many of that? No, I'm saying, I, like, I like this concept better. Oh, yeah, yeah. I agree with you completely. As an idea. The execution of how hard it is to get is a little worse off for us. But at the same time, it does make gears more rare and it makes it kind of more of an actual... Yeah, but... Like, coveted thing. T t imagine having to get ten copies of the same gear. Now, this common one, we've been playing a lot in the last week. And this common one we've leveled up to the sixth um, improvement. Yeah. But imagine getting ten copies of an uncommon gear, a rare gear. So this brings us to the next point where getting, uh, playing in the Faction Wars is even more important. Than it 
ever was an injustice. Like the, so, in this is the faction wars is equivalent of the MP online play, where you're playing against other people's uh, teams, controlled yeah. by the the artificial intelligence. So even if you don't play a lot and don't rank very high. You should play just to get a few pieces of equipment because eventually you're going to want them. Yeah, and it's so hard to get equipment any other way. In Injustice, there were so many avenues for which to get gear that it almost didn't matter because you could get yeah. it for so cheap. But in this one, because of how hard it is, multiplayer, because of the way the reward system is very similar to Injustice, but the gear is a lot more valuable, makes it multiplayer a lot more valuable. Yeah. Now, a, a couple points, and we mentioned it earlier, but just to, uh, to, to give examples. Silver cards are very rare drops in the Alliance pack. So the Alliance pack is the one that costs 500 Alliance credits. You get one card only. Yeah. They're pretty rare drops, but we've gotten uh, Jax Briggs, uh, the Silver Sub-Zero, and Sonya Blade in those packs. Yeah, so that's three which silver is, cards. Which is cool. I like the fact that you can actually get something better than what the packs say. Yeah. And we've gotten uh, a gold card, because they're actually rare drops in the card pack. You don't always have to buy a combat pack. You can get gold sometimes in the card pack and we've gotten A-list Johnny Cage in the card pack. For the, which is a silver one. Which I quite like. It was kind of like the way the starter pack worked in um, in Injustice where you got one silver Harley Quinn for sure and then you could get a bronze but you could also get a gold potentially in yeah. the starter pack. Yeah. One thing I'd like to see, the equipment is just too rare. I'd like to see an equipment pack. I'd be willing to, knowing how rare equipment is, I'd be willing to spend... Souls. Yeah, I'd be willing to spend... I'd be willing to spend the equivalent of uh, a gold pack to get two like, or three pieces of equipment, depending on how rare. Yeah, if like a three-piece equipment pack was one twenty for a gold pack, or like um, forty per piece, that would be reasonable, I think. Yeah. So we're we're really enjoying the game, but the problem so far has been that it, I it re honestly it's only been a week, but it feels like the grind is really slow. Yeah, and the. The grind isn't necessarily a problem, it's the grind paired with the load times. Yes. Because if, right. it was an infinite, if it was uh, like instant load time, the grind would be like a third as long as it take, and it would all just feel like playing. Right. The problem is it does feel like grinding when you're sitting around for two minutes to get to play for one minute. Right, especially when you're waiting for the fight to start and it's a load time. Yeah. So you can't look away and do other stuff because if the fight loads while you're looking away, you've lost the battle. And oftentimes, um, we play with sound off, so there's no sound cue for when this fight is going to start. So right. you are looking at the okay. screen the entire time. So that's our first impression of Mortal Kombat. Generally, thumbs up. Love the three team slot. So good. Yes. And if you're listening, Warner Brothers, NetherRealm, whatever, um, you really should hire us to beta test this stuff. There's a, an. Not only is it really unstable, but again, there's lots of glitches across. I mean, basically, we've turned into Injustice Immortals, uh, Mortal Kombat, and basically anything Nether Realms, Warner Brothers. Glitches and cha tips. Channels, yeah. yeah. So. Um, but we're dedicated. We greatly enjoy all of your games, and we think we could bring interesting stuff to the table. All right. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.